Hello, everyone, and welcome to my follow-up for Floating Into the Night by Julie Cruz. What a great album. This album is fantastic. I like it a lot. A um, couple, like, you know, speed bumps here and there, I would say, but overall quite good for what it was. Um, and honestly, how samey it sounds at times. Um, so let's go track by track. As you can see, I have it about a four out of five. First track, Floating, we're starting off strong with this one. It sets the tone well for the album, showcasing the production, playing vocals, and pacing really well. Uh, Falling, obvious classic, worked perfectly as the Twin Peaks theme, and it works amazing on its own. Uh, very lofty, yet simple, just great. Uh, not much new to say about that one. I remember, I love the deep synth vibe on this one with the sentimental melody and the great sax touch on it as well. Rockin' Back Inside My Heart, it's really not bad. Um... I just don't think it works well on this album in particular uh, because of the tone. Uh, it adds a bit of variety, but like we could have done with maybe one more. Uh, there's a track later, um, I Float Alone, that I feel like maybe if you had done another kind of more perky kind of song like Rockin' Back Inside My Heart instead of I Float Alone, this one would have felt better to me. Uh, it's just a weird like black sheep. Um, it's just also a bit long, just doesn't have a, a ton of variety to it, but uh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Mysteries of Love, uh, just super moving string swells led steadily by Cruz's vocals, it's fantastic. Uh, I think it was used in a movie, right? Something I haven't seen yet. Uh, Into the Night is my second favorite uh, to falling on this album. Love the dark noir -y vibe, it just kind of reminds me of early Cure, like 17 seconds. Um, there were some tracks on 17 Seconds where I think I said in the follow-up, was I doing follow-ups at that time? I think I was. Um, I said in the follow-up, like, there's certain tracks on this, on 17 Seconds that, like, feel like I'm being stalked by, like, a, a slasher killer on the way home from, like, a, f a, a college party or something. Um, and, uh, Into the Night has that kind of similar, like, dark moody sort of like creepy vibe to it like early cure did in uh 17 seconds in faith and i i, I like that sound uh i float alone like i said good album track but it kind of feels like a lot of the other tracks here um but just letting the album play this one works fine i guess um it just kind of feels like other recycled components of other songs and doesn't stand super well on its own um the nightingale Nice to have some guitar presence here. It's almost like a haunted Brill building track. Uh, I enjoy that one. The Swan, um, great ambient synth track. Very simple, but doesn't overstay its welcome. It almost feels like a film store with score, which granted a lot of this album does anyway. Uh, and then The World Spins is a great extended outro that kind of like floating as an intro. It, this showcases a lot of what the album had explored before. Uh, just kind of swells and layers beautifully and just kind of disappears into the air. Um, so yeah, that's my, uh, my rankings for, uh, floating into the night. I think it is a magnificent album. Um, and oddly enough, even though it's super samey, a lot of the tracks use very similar components. Um, and like, maybe you'll get a sax here or a guitar there. It's largely just, uh, Bottle Menti's synth, um, Lynch's lyrics, and cruises vocals and like that's all you need for success because like it, just, it it sounds great it's a great sounding album uh yeah that's all i got for floating into the night hope you guys enjoyed uh until next time godspeed mm -hmm.